Hey guys, welcome back to Fitch Face. Hope you're all doing well. Just got a bit of progress to show you. Um, this is my Yeti so far for Norse Blood Bowl. I've done a couple of abs. I made his legs a little bit thicker so that he can actually haul himself up on his back feet. And I've done his face. Um, not finished yet. Uh, it needs a lot of tidying up and a bit more sculpting. But you get the general gist of his face now. I've gone for sort of a gorilla -y, Bigfoot kind of vibe. Um, I know a lot of people have used the a sort of trolly theme because they used to be snow trolls. And I know a lot of people have gone with the official Games Workshop Yeti miniature. Um, but I've sort of gone with a more traditional Bigfoot kind of look to him because I'm just out to please myself, really. Um, <laughs> As it, he also looks a little bit cartoony in my opinion, which I think is fine. I mean, he's got the little rage eye going on a little bit, but um, I like it. I mean, the old, well, the current Stone Troll models are really cartoony and a little bit dorky, so I'm happy with that. I love the whole humour aspect to Games Workshop, which I think is something they're losing rapidly now. Um, where else have got a... This is what I'm doing with my linemen. I'm taking the little dangly bits from in between their legs, which sounds horrible, but that's what I'm doing. And I'm sort of smoothing it over, giving them a little bit of a crotch there. Um, my plan was to give them shorts rather than trousers, because they're obviously wearing trousers. And I, I, I'm sort of, I sort of want to go with a rugby theme to my team. I might name them after a specific rugby team or a pun or something um but yeah I'd, I'd quite like them to be wearing shorts like in rugby but we'll see how that goes with the modeling there um i've also this is sort of a makeshift mold um of an old dwarf standard top which i'm using because i might want to put wings on helmets um it might be a little bit on the large side but um Hopefully it'll be okay, and it's just a small blob of green stuff, if not. If it, if any of you are buying green stuff from Games Workshop, don't. Buy it from eBay, you can get... I think I got five or six times as much as you get from Games Workshop, but for the same price off eBay. Just buy Nidatite from any other company other than Games Workshop. It's exactly the same stuff. There, there doesn't seem to be a loss in quality. Um, I mean... I. I'm creating this from non-Games Workshop Need a Tight. Um, perhaps there is a loss of quality. I'm not a master sculptor like some people, but if you're just beginning or if you're just filling in gaps, seriously, don't waste your money on Games Workshop Need a Tight because it's not worth it. Anyway, I think that's it for now. Hopefully I'll have some updates for you soon, um, and I'll catch you later. Stay tuned.